Mm-hmm. What's up, bodybuilding fans? Welcome to our first segment of a uh, business feature. We'll be featuring a, a meal prep business. Good friend of mine, Jason Gandia, out of Hardingen. Uh, his uh, business is called uh, Prepping for Meals. More for re- for results. Prepping, Prepping for, for results. results. Um, so we're gonna get, get a little back backstory about his, you know, upcoming um the fitness industry, how he got into the meal prep. I know he used to be a personal trainer, his background on personal training and fitness. You know, that's one thing, you know, about being in the fitness industry. You, you want to, you have a passion for it and, 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 and a desire to promote fitness some way, somehow. You know? Absolutely. So give me a little background about yourself. Like, how did you get into the fitness? You know, well, first of all, of I wanted to thank you for having me on today. You know, being one of the first guests. Um, we're always wanting to talk about you know, meal prepping here at Prepping for Results. Um, I started the business back in 2016. Uh, and I actually started with just one client. Yeah, just so, yeah, it was just one client. It was, I was actually in the gym with uh, working with my good buddy, David Swanders, you know, David and Trish. And we were out there working and this guy came up to me and says, hey man, I'm meal prepping with somebody. I hadn't started uh, the business at all, but as bodybuilders and competitors, you know, we meal prep. That was the only way to when they give you these crazy diets. You know, yeah. you would look at them and you'd be like, "How how are we going to eat six meals?" And back then, Jason, you know, back in our day, you know, dining and meal prepping that was such a coveted, like special thing. Nobody was talking about it, and, and the information wasn't given. Like now, yeah. we can get on the internet. You can find it. And, and in that aspect, you're talking about like, so what did you start getting into the the working out and bodybuilding? Yeah. I was, I got into working out when I was 16 years. 16, okay. I was going to, um, in Harlan Gin, I was going to Olympus Gym. And that was one of the That was, was one of the first ones around. Those guys have been around for a long time. So I started going with my cousin, David. And he's like, hey, man, you know, I was always into sports as a kid. Played, you know, every sport. And, you know, working out was one of those things. You what, to, what sport did you excel in that, that uh, you were doing? Baseball was really Baseball? my, yeah, it was one of the, one of the sports that I was pretty natural at. So, you know, baseball is where I really excelled. And, um, and, um, so I started working on two, 2016 and then I didn't get into bodybuilding and eating clean mm-hmm. until 2010. So I did my first bodybuilding show was in 2010. And then I, my last one was 2016. But, so, so you, you started, uh, uh, you said working out in what year, where? When I was 1994. Okay. So I, I, you were a what, sophomore? I was a sophomore. sophomore? Yeah, I started bodybuilding after high school. That's what most people don't realize. I started bodybuilding after high school, you know. Uh, so I graduated in 94. So that was kind of the same time you yeah. were. I was already out of high school. So then you started bodybuilding. You started with Dave. So right? Yeah. Um, I, did, I did my first bodybuilding show. Um, I actually failed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Like most exactly. people both don't know back then, like I was trying to say, two people, like there wasn't that many coaches for one. It was, there no social media, too. It was all by magazines. Yep. And magazines. Back then, we had certain people that were into it, that camaraderie that would help. Yep. You know, yep. it was so, a bit of information. It was. And, and that's, that's how I was mentioning on my other video. Go we'll check it out, our, our introduction video. But it was like, that was camaraderie and helping each other. And it was just saying, mm-hmm. let's help each other out. There was no, you know, teams and there was no, oh, I'm here from here. We're not going to help you. We're not. It was, it was everybody helped each other. You know, that's how kind of I started too, you know, which is pretty interesting, you know. So then you, how many, how many years did you like really push it to start noticing that, that maybe you, you can, you wanted to do that? I, I had already been working out for 10 years okay. before I ever even, and then this guy, um, his name was Skyler Craig in San Antonio. I lived in San Antonio at the time. I was there for like 10 years. He goes, hey, man, you, sh- you should try bodybuilding. Now, I've always been kind of like a bigger guy. So I, have, I don't have the lean genetics, right? You know, the, the lean body. And he was like, no, you can do it, but you got to eat correctly. So this is where this meal prepping comes in, dude. Because he's like, here's a diet. And I looked at this diet and it had, you know, oh, man, it was every three and a half hours. And I was like, dude. I asked him, how, how am I supposed to eat all of this food? <laughs> He's like, well, you got a meal prep. And I was like, well, what the hell's meal prep? And you're like, well, where'd I get it from? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. There was no meal prepping business. And I'm glad you brought that yeah. point up because what at my girlfriend at the time, you know, she was like, well, you can have fish. 
And I was like, well, yeah, but when we go to Chili's or wherever we're going, they have fish, but I can't have all these other things that go with this fish. This is like super clean. You don't understand? And that concept really, I was like, oh, okay, I get what he's saying. And the reason I, one of the reasons I started this meal prep business, because I was a guy at Chili's not being able to eat that food and needing a clean meal. And that's one of the things that, you know, as old school, I, my, my, my meals are super clean. Like, it's just, that, that's what most people don't understand. Like, you know, yes, restaurants have a small menu that's healthy, but they still got those extra calories yeah. that they add. That's what they don't tell you. So yeah, when, when, you. When, when we're trying to meal prep, because we're trying to get to a point where it's stage lean, mm -hmm. you know, we got to eat clean and all any extra calories, it's going to throw you off, yep. you know? So you want to make sure we prep the meals to tea, you know? So then, you, so what, what what division did you do after all? When you, when I, you got into the body really? I, I did, I was a, a physique is what okay. I did. And then I did, you know, one open round of bodybuilding. Um, and I did, what was it called? Uh, uh, when you're the beginner? Novice. Novice. Yeah. And uh, that was in the Adela Garcia. Yeah. And so I won the novice. That was 2016. 2016. Um, and I t came in third out of my category in physique, almost the national qualifier, which was pretty amazing. And then after that, you know, my son and family, and you know how that goes, because you have, you, you know, you're married. And you have to. So yeah, after that, it was just, you know, I, I can't dedicate my time as much as I would like to, but I got into me perfect this guy. But before that, you were trained. Right? I was you, always you were trained. trained. So always trained. trained. Always personal training. Always training. And I would give these meals to these people and I'll be like, look, this is, you know, let's not make it difficult. Just eat these simple foods. And they're like, well, where do I get this? I was like, somebody needs to make a meal prep. <laughs> is it true? And that's where it is. Because no, no, most people don't want to cook <laughs> for one. Oh my God. For one, they don't want to cook it. Too, because it's multiple meals and it's mm -hmm. prepping it and mm -hmm. take time. So then the, the idea of, you know, prepping yeah. for results. Prepping for results. Yeah. So originally I wanted to open a personal training studio, which was, what was my goal. And I was going to call it uh, uh, prepping for results training studio. Okay. And I was like, you know, prepping for results, prepping for this, prepping for that. And I just, and so... This guy, good friend of mine now, Ben Vetta, he's out of Raymondville and he owns a small shop out there, dis, uh, designed, ND designed. He, he's a one, hey man, I'm meal prepping with this one. I was like, well, how much are they charging you? And I was like, I can do that cheaper. First client right there. That was my first client. And he was like, hey man, this food's pretty good. I was like, look, I've been eating like this. Yeah. We've been eating like this for 20 years, you know? Of course, it's going to be half good. I cook it all the time. So he was my first client and it just went from there. And all of a sudden it just took off. Yeah. So you're, you're out of our engine and, and, and where do you prep these meals at? How do you, how do you, do you have a, a little restaurant? Do you have a, a standalone place or are you so, just, you no, know, basically, I guess you could call it like a ghost kitchen, okay. right? Um, so we don't, I don't have a storefront. The way you order these meals is online. Okay. Um, then you order online, and right now we are delivering the meals to you. So I basically lease a kitchen, okay. and that's where I go. So all the orders come in by Saturday, which will be today, and then tomorrow I'm cooking. And then they're del we're delivering Sunday evening and Monday mornings. And uh, are you doing them once a week, twice a week for these people? Honey? I, I do it. I There are weeks where I'm... I, because I'm the one that cooks all the food, um, where I cook twice a week. Well, I'll do like Sunday and Wednesday. And it just varies because orders come in throughout the week. Yeah. So it just varies. You know, sometimes, you know, sometimes we'll have a lot, sometimes, you know. Yeah. And, and what, what is one of the challenges that, that you came across starting a meal prep? Because back then, when you started, were, there wasn't that many, right? I mean, back there, then. You know? Yeah, there wasn't. That, it was such a new concept to people. They, they, I guess, for lack of a better word, like people knew what meal prepping was, but they didn't know really what it was. And they're like, well, why? So one of the other things um, that, you know, I was telling them was like, you know, the, yes, these meal prep, these meals are for the guy that works out, you know, you know, but they're also for our parents, 
you know, for people that may might have diabetes or went to the doctor and got a bad report. Hey, you know, you can bring down your cholesterol. I'm like, so for example, and I know we're off subject here, but for example, my dad's 72. My dad's a Vietnam veteran. Um, he's 100% disability with VA. So he goes to the doctor all the time. He has on regular reports. And he, about a year and a half ago, he goes to the doctor and he says, you know, my cholesterol is this and my blood sugars, you know, whatever. And I was like, well, then what food did they tell you to eat? <laughs> you know, yeah. already knowing where this was going, right? And he just kind of did one of those, like, uh, and I said, I go, he goes, well, all the meals you cook. And I was like, <laughs> I go, look, dad. I was like, it's simple, man. I always tell people, I was like, I'm not asking. Not everybody's going to be a competitor and take it to the to level we did, Jason, um, because this is what we do. It's our passion, right? But at the same time, you do have to have these meals in your diet. Yeah. It's just a part of your diet, man. Yeah. Just a part of your diet because you don't want to be having bad reports from the doctors or maybe later on in life because you didn't take care of yourself. So that was one of the things. So from, from uh, your clientele, what is a percentage that are like hardcore competitors and just your transformation? You know? I would say 50-50, to be honest with you. To very to be honest with you, I have all I have a lot of elderly people that buy, and I, I love working with the elderly because it's so simple. They're just like, be here on Sunday, Jason. I'll see you. And they love the food, and they say that it's helped them. You know, in a lot of ways, like it's helped them. You know, bring down their cholesterol, bring down their blood sugar levels. It makes them feel better and lighter. You know, yeah. stuff like that. I'll post some pictures of of his meal preps. You gotta understand, guys, like. I tell these to everybody, you know, probably get some heat out of it, but there's a lot of companies out here that they say they're meal preps. And honestly, man, I think a lot of them are just food to go. Uh, they look delicious. They're, they're, they're not as macros as they say they are. You know, if you own a, a, a meal prep business and you want to prove me wrong, you know, let's, let's get together because I really think that these meals are not what they say they are. They're very high calories. You know, it's, it looks like a meal. Now, Jason's meals, which I always tell my clients that are prepping for a show, if you want, there's a guy that does a he's customized. You tell him this is what I need, and that's what he does. That's, that's what I like about his meals. It's like you need four ounces of chicken, he gives you four ounces of chicken. Four, four ounces or six ounces of salmon, you know. So tell them what, what kind of meals you have. What, what are the variety of meals that you do? So we do um, chicken breasts. We do ground turkey. We do a lean beef patty, as lean as the... The ground beef will come. We do it. The 96? Yes. 96? Yeah. yeah. We do. Uh, also on the turkey, the lean yeah. you can do. Um, we do chicken breasts. Um, and we do salmon. Salmon is our number one seller. Uh, I've had a number of people that has told me, you know, Jason, I, I don't really like salmon. And I'm like, you know, there's people that told me that try it. Yeah. And I have people that are like, dude, I'll eat it. And we do tilapia. And I get, and, and, Talking about getting the heat, people are like the lapia, and I was like, "Look, man, it's just not a lot of calories, and it's lean." I, I mean, I, I, you think you thinking of doing the cod? Have you ever tried? I mean, I know it's a little more pricey than tilapia. Yes, but I think cod it doesn't have that fishy taste mm -hmm. like tilapia. You know, that's one thing. So, you know, as a prep, you know, it was white fish, so tilapia back then it was cheap. But then I switched to cod, and I'm like, man, I can't go back to tilapia. Really? Right? Cod, Sorry. cod has 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 a good taste, and it's and it's. And it's a more dense meal instead of top being a hot roll. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. you eat it and you're like, that's it, you know? Yeah, I know. But uh, so so you, so you do what four ounces, six ounces. I do eight right ounces. now. We do like you said, customized. But for the most part, it's six ounces of protein and half a cup of carbs and vegetables, either broccoli or mixed vegetables. And and the thing I want to tell you guys too also is like if you say it's four ounces of chicken, you're getting four ounces of chicken. So that's you know your 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 six ounces also. So you're getting your twenty four grams to 36 yeah. grams of protein you know all these other meal preps they they have a label 42 but honestly i don't think that's not six ounces of chicken in there so they're trying to count all these other calories that protein but no here you're getting the solid animal protein in mm -hmm. source and then your carb sources what, what carb sources do you offer on the carbs we do uh, red potatoes with right. small red potatoes um which we cut those up and, and they're really good and uh we do uh black beans we do a sweet potato which is nothing on your sweet potatoes there's no butter no added um we do sweet potatoes we do a jasmine rice very popular and we do brownies 
So a lot of beans come with jalapenos. How do you cook your your proteins? Is it all grilled or is it no? Maybe we, we, we bake everything. Bake everything. Yeah, okay. we bake everything. So that's um that's pretty much why it comes out. Okay. Pretty you can cut it with a fork. Huh. Now now with the whole uh you know air fryers and yeah. and uh, uh crock pot slow cookers. Mm -hmm. Uh, shredded chicken. I know, like a lot of bodybuilders, they, they they prep their chicken now, you know, in the food, you know, slow cooker, and and they shred it up and just kind of, you know, they make the bowls, which is, like I said, back then, like most people don't realize, back then when I was prepping, this was in the early two thousands, we boiled chicken, clean yeah. boiled yeah. chicken, yeah, you know, and that's what I think. Like now, it's like all these meal preps and you know, cheat meals. Like, give me the cheat meal, like man, we, you don't understand how hard hardcore we were back then, yeah. And that's just the way it was, you know. Now it's with variety of carbs and, and the way to cook it and the seasonings, you can make it mm -hmm. fun and interesting and tasteful, you know. So uh is that something that you might, you know, venture off and maybe do some, you know, air fryer or some uh, crock pot or so cook meals, some well just, you know, just to off because I know they all they they all has a unique taste. Yeah, you know. And and we we stay old school, right? Uh we're you know, part of our model here is simplicity is power. So when it comes to other meal prepping, I'm glad you brought that up because you can get other meal prepping businesses and they add all these sauces and all this. Well, stuff. I didn't say the sauces. Yeah. I, just, I, just, I, just, I, just, I said the way you prep yeah. it, which is you can, it, it gives it a, a different flavor. It, it does taste. give it a different flavor. Uh, but in our case, we're doing so many. So we use the commercial big kitchen uh, ovens and I don't know. We might venture off. Maybe. And what is your prices that you offer? Um. So on our tilapia, it's eleven dollars, and then all the rest of the meals are ten dollars. Okay. So it's pretty pretty simple. And we, you know, had recently gone up in prices a little bit, only because things are gotten. Well, I, 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 yeah, yeah. I mean, I, 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 I going to. It, it should be you know, get my 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 food all the time, my ground turkey, and and man, the last year and a half the. The, the ground turkey, I mean, the ground beef went up from like, what was it, six ninety nine, eight ninety nine. Now it's like eleven ninety nine. It's like it's ridiculous. You know? So I mean, that that's 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 understandable. Yeah. You know, uh, you know, you gotta go up when the product is itself. You know, it's gonna kind of go up when you have to. You know, make your profit margin on that. Mm -hmm. You know, so, but uh, I think uh, what I like, like I said, what I like about you is so, if somebody like a competitor came. And they gave you a, a meal plan, you know, a specific, you know, grams of rice, grams of veggies, and ounces of, you know, certain. Is that a different cost to you? Um, then? It just depends on what they're asking for, okay. I guess. It would depend on what they're asking. For the most part, it's not. Okay. But sometimes it is. It just depends because they want my, maybe like extra in there. And you can pay extra for extra protein on, some, on my meals as well. But, you know, it, it, it all depends. I mean, a lot of meal prepping businesses aren't going to do that, yeah. you know. No, right. I, that's why. That's why. Like, I know have have certain clients, and they're like, you know, well, I'm going to go ask so and so, and I said, I don't think they do customize. Yeah. You know? I mean, oh, but they have uh, this chicken. They said, no, it's not the same thing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's not the same thing. It's not you know? the same thing. Uh, it, it might look healthy. It might look delicious, but it's not what we want. You know, as a, as, as you as a coach, better, or, you know, you know, stage need. Uh, I th like I said to me, some of them are just meals to go man like you know i don't see it healthier than if you were to go to a restaurant i don't see it yeah you know and what i like like yours is, is they're fresh i mean you cook them you know uh for them and you deliver or they pick up you know it's not like they got to go to a store that's been sitting there for a couple of days yeah you know? uh, exactly you know, so they're all pre-ordered yeah they're all pre-ordered and um you know that i think that's you know pretty much one of the keys to our success is that um they are getting it fresh I, I remember I remember you were at certain stores, right, before? I was at um at Extreme Nutrition there for a little bit and then, you know, it didn't do so so well, so we, we got out or whatever. But uh we are, you know, really looking into the future of putting up vending machines in certain places. It, 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 and the way when you had an extreme were they were pre ordered or they were already no like you were doing a so consignment type of thing or how yeah that? well I actually um have coolers okay. that have prepping they're prepping for results coolers and we were just putting them in there and that was just something that they were offering for, okay. for the clientele. Okay. Yeah. So that and, and how far do some of your clients are from um I at one point, you know, before the pandemic, right? Uh I was 
delivering all the way to South Padre Island, Laguna Vista, uh, Port Isabel, Los Fresnos. I delivered here in Mercedes, Westlaco, um, all the way in Raymondville, Lightford. So we're pretty much, I would say for the most part, we're lower value. Okay. Yeah, we deliver everywhere. All over. So I'm all over the place delivering meals. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you want, we can be a drop zone here for you. Oh, that would have, be awesome. Somebody to come pick up a meal. There come meals. Just put it in the cooler. We got a cooler. Mm -hmm. You pick it up. So that would be you know, great. Because I, I know there's, like I said, there's a lot of uh, mid valley, maybe even something from Canada that would, you know, want your mm -hmm. service because the, the meals are. You know, I was hoping you bring some so I can show you guys yeah, and a little taste, but you feel bad to bring them up. I you know, you, it, it's I, I've seen those meals and 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 the viewer into that nice, clean, specific type of meal plan. You know, it, it's that's what it's for. You know, uh, so what what what's the future for it? Like I, I know you said that you wanna you know get a, a storefront eventually. Um, How does that work? Does I don't know. Work? We're I I I think the future of prepping for results is going to be a pretty much not have a storefront okay. and it's just going to be, you know, delivery and, um, vending machines, okay. refrigerated vending machines where we can put it certain places here, gym or wherever, and people can just pay in there and grab their meals and, and stuff like that. And, um, I don't know if I should say this, but oh, my partner's not going to get that. We're thinking about doing a kid's prep. Okay. Cool. A kid's prep because over the past years, I have all these people that order from me and they're like, Hey, Jason, can I get some more meals on Wednesday? And I was like, really? Like you just, and there, and, and I was like, sure. But I was like, you're like, my kids are getting <laughs> eating all the time. Like, how old are your kids? And I'm talking about Jason. These kids are like six, seven, eight, nine, eating salmon. They're like, they, they love the salmon. They love the broccoli. You know, um, they're like, they love the beef patty, which I love the beef patty. Of course, you wouldn't eat too much red meat, right? But um, he was, they, so kids prep might be something that is very close in the future course, where kids can take it. Like my son, that my son, I have a nine-year-old son, and we, oh, he doesn't like cafeteria. Well, dude, I, I, I think nobody, I, 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 we ate that back in our day. Right? I don't stop. You see, but then... The cooks were actually cooked. Yeah. Yeah. I think that now it's all pre-ordered. Yes. Now that's a pre-ordered. And I think that's where it's changed a lot. You know? Yeah. yeah we, uh, we, uh, yeah, my son doesn't like to take, so we have to pack his food every day. And sometimes he'll take my meal. He'll be like, hey, dad, you know, throw the turkey in there and whatever. I'll take that. Like, all right. Cool. So, yeah. <laughs> that's cool. Kids prep. Kids prep is something that we, it has been in the, you know, on the top of the subject there. In for the last couple of years, maybe we'll execute that super soon. As a business owner, what was I guess what is one of some uh, conflicts that you came across during starting it during your your, your business? Um, I think social media was something that I really had to like pick up on because we didn't come from that era of computers and you know facebook and snapchat and tiktok yeah. and twitter and everything else we got going on now um so so building that was a challenge for me um i i used to own a gym in harlingen at one point so you know i kind of knew more or less how to you know navigate my way through gyms and who to talk to and stuff I, but really that was challenging also um making the right decision of not getting a kitchen so i lease a kitchen so i don't own a kitchen okay and thank god because the pandemic hit right so that was that was a huge challenge and really coming up with the formula of how how this is going to work and and providing the freshest product to our customers um and that way they keep coming back you said you lease it at least yes. a kitchen. Yes, or I lease a kitchen. I, I lease a kitchen out of Rosa in Arlington. Okay. And um, I actually recently was, I was actually helping them out. So we were doing like, it was right up my alley because we were doing about four or 500 meals a day there. At wow. that, yeah, for the homeless people um, out of Raymondville and Orange. And, and it was a great organization, great staff, absolutely great director that they have over there, Victor Rivera. He's doing an excellent job. And, you know, and so that's why I, that's why I cook the majority of everything. Is that? And you and you, and you say you only do it once right now Sundays also. I do I do Sundays, but I'm cooking like for the most part I'm, I'm cooking like Monday through Wednesday. 
how many how, how, how long does it take you to cook that many meals like oh, okay let's let give an example like like what's your maximum meals that you've gotten over like in a day like you had to cook all those fucking meals in that day like, like 400 on one day yeah so that takes right. yeah 400 people i mean you're paying for the convenience of the because it takes quite a long time for us to cook all this yeah. and prep it it's the prep time and then yeah. this and like so everybody you got like two or three people and we're just like it's like non-stop in the field probably one of the reasons i like the kitchen mm -hmm. is because i like moving so fast mm -hmm. but yeah 400 meals in one day stocking labeling everything directing this goes there that right. you know it's a uh, it's exciting and, and when you were doing their meals and you were doing your meals uh how many what's what's your maximum of your meals that that you were cooking with 400 you saying your meals your meals uh, for prepping for results or yeah. for me personally? Yeah, Pre prepping for results. Like, what was the biggest order you got? 400. 400. So, and you're doing all the cooking right there yourself? You're yeah, I'm do, I'm the head cook. So I have two helpers. Okay. And then they're, and you know, it's, I'm glad you brought that up because when meal prepping, you know, I would ask these people to help me and serve people. And some of them, my friends, I'm like, hey man, I need an extra half. And some of them don't know what meal prepping is about. Yeah. They just know that I'm just like, let's do this and this. And then when you deal with the, uh, you know, I got some younger guys out there, like, you know, I have this guy named Steve Chavez and this young kid named Jesse Martinez. And, you know, these guys come in there and they help me. Well, they understand nutrition. Mm -hmm. So they pick it up quick yeah. and that that's easier for me to work with. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, definitely a knowledge of, of what we're doing in there and nutrition and cleaning and stuff really helps the kitchen yeah, that, that is a lot how many how many, how many so when what time do you start you usually start um because you you should have it already timed like well if i have 200 meals or i have 300 meals i gotta start it here this time and i'll be done by this time more yeah. like you should already yeah. have that plan depending out. on the order but yeah it's gonna take about seven or eight hours in the kitchen kitchen time that is not and that's not you're not adding the fact that i have to buy the product yeah Put all the orders together, da, 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 and then deliver everything. So, and I do the delivering and another guy does the delivery too. So, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a long process to me. And what is the, I guess, the biggest uh, accomplishment or was something that you, 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 you think like when you first started? Did you think I was gonna get this big? You know, this. Uh, is no, no, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't really know what it was. It was. You know, one of those things where I was like, hey, you know. Because you were offering it to your clients at first, right? That's when you kind of started off with. Well, I was offering it to my clients. At that time, I was working at David's gym. And then some of David's clients picked them. They're like, hey, man. Well, and David's like, hey, you know, Jason's meal prepping if you want to try out Jason. And, and it just grew from there. And then, honest to God, the, the, the biggest, one of the biggest reasons that we're still successful, or I'm still doing this six years later, is because the product itself, like people just like it. the people, the food's just good, you know, and it's simple. I'm always tell people, I'm like, look, I don't know what sauces you like on your food. You put that stuff out. We're just giving you the protein, the carbs, and the vegetables, you know. And um, and when I I had put out a video um, talking about meal prepping by myself, and it got a ton of views. So I was like, whoa, this is, and then it just got bigger and bigger. and bigger and and people like you jason thank god um people like david swanners you know other people pushed my you know my name out there and the prepping for results so yeah i'm blessed beyond blessed to be able to still do this at this time and what, what how, how many more do you think you can get, keep going as long as you can go i mean you know is it a point where 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 is it get to a point where you would like to like just hire another cook and you just absolutely. let it run itself? Yeah, That's absolutely. what you want. Yeah, absolutely. I think that I think you know, I kind of told my business partner I have. I do have a business partner in this. His name is um, my best friend. He's my business partner, Luis Pelas. A smart guy, and he's helped me make a lot of decisions in in, in this venture. And eventually, it's just going to be like, look, it's just you know, we're going to be making the decisions up front, and the rest is just. Be, and so maybe hopefully you never know it could be a jenny craig where you're ordering to your door one day you never know it, i mean if you get vending machines they could be across the valley in every gym and every i mean 
even schools, you know, our teachers only have, my wife's a teacher, she only has 30 minutes to eat. <laughs> so she takes my meal preps all the time. She's like, oh, you know, I'm like, I, I, I know they got their own little microwave, yeah, the refrigerator. Yeah, because you know, I have a lot of teachers. Man. I, I don't know. I don't understand that. Like, yeah. So how you how you expect somebody to eat in thirty minutes? You know, and but that that'd be actually that'd be a very good thing because they you don't have time to go get something, bring it out. And most of the people, what they do, they go to the vending machine and buy junk. Yeah. You know. And yeah. most of the teachers that they're sitting there in sedentary, they're not, you know, active yeah. until they get out or, you know, or before. So having a meal, good meal prep, that'd be really, really good for the teachers. I think that'd be a good idea. And my know. wife, <laughs> she works in Real Hondo. So there's not much in Real Hondo. Yeah. <laughs> there's one stripes. <laughs> so he's like, you want tacos? Yeah. Yeah. She's like, I was like, where are you going to go? She's like, where am I going to go, Jason? <laughs> I'm like. Oh, you're going to go get tacos or what? Or burrito. You know, I kind of mess with her. She's like, bye. <laughs> then, yeah, that, that, that's, a, that's the thing one, like, that's, every time I get a client, you know, that's one thing is like, whoa, well, you know, I'm on the road a lot of work. Where, where can I get this? Where can I get that? You know, and, and most bad decisions are that. When yeah. you're not prepared, when you don't have exactly. your meal with you. So like you, like you, you took your meals with you to work or they had a vending machine or you sold them there, you know. You know, and, and it would be, you know, more convenient that way than most people go to that bad resort and mm -hmm. pick up something bad, pick up something in fast food, pick up something in the stripes, you know, you know, so something like that would be really good. I, mean, I, I, I hope you do that, man, because honestly, yeah. I think that if you will get with the school, hopefully the school sees that and, and well, offers something good. Right now. <laughs> you know, because I, I, cause I've tried th things with the schools, you know, sometimes and they just like, well, we're just going to offer them amazing. Yeah. So they don't really want it, but they, they were to offer something like that. Hey, you know what? This guy comes in, brings so many meals per day. They're already pre-ordered, whatever. You know, somehow it will make it that that help these teachers eat healthy and clean. Or, or, or eat like a, you know, just a vending machine, machine that's to that where they can take it out and put it in the microwave right. or anywhere, man. I mean, they could put those things anywhere. But yeah, that that was one of the things that we're 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 trying to go, you know, get done. In the, in the near future and i you know which another thing you know jason we're blessed because we've had a lot of support i've had a, me personally i say we because my 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 buddies and the people that work help me out with this thing you know we've been we've been blessed you know my we've got my you know my good friend mike zamaripa he takes the photos rudy hyde he's the one that does the designs you know um my cousin helps out with social media my cousin bob chavez louis he you know he's doing his part you know, I think God just put these people in my, you know, in my, in my um, circle. Yeah. And that's how we done this, you know, and it's, it's, it's great. It's, you know, we have so much support from the real Grand Valley. And I always tell everybody, I'm from the real Grand Valley, you know, I, I represent. Um, so, you know, that's one part of our success. We, we, re I, I truly appreciate that. You know, as, as having a support system, you know, having, you know, the right people and then having this, somebody that, that is going to, you know, support your business. I think that that's one of the biggest thing down here, you know, small business locally owned, it's tough, you know, it's tough. You know, you would think that, you know, I'm gonna go support down because that's locally owned. He's from here, yeah. he's hometown, but they rather go to a corporate gym. Yeah. You know, stuff like that. So when you get people that support you and loyalty, man, that to us, you know, is, 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 is means it's a huge. lot, you it's know, huge. that loyalty yeah. to choose a locally owned business, it's, it's a big plus, you know. Um, so props to you, man, with, with, with your business, you know, it's I gone, it, you it. know, it's worth gone my crazy. I remember, must have been, what, about four years ago, five years ago, when we first started hearing about you, and, yeah. like, and I remember we talked a while back, and, and man, we just, you just grown, you know, which yeah. is good, you know. Grown and, and stuck it out, <laughs> stuck it out, because, you know, you know, business, it's you know, ups, and, ups and downs, but we've just kind of stuck it out. So you said, uh, how can somebody reach out to you to do a, an order, you know? So we do have an online order. You can go to um, my Facebook page or you can go to Prepping for Results Facebook page. We do, I do have an Instagram for, for, for me, Jason Gandia. And you can get on there. You can online order on there. There is um, all menus and everything, even pictures and stuff like that of, of, of you know, past clients and past orders and stuff. So that would, it would yeah, we'll, we'll put those links there in the bottom so you guys can go check it out, you know. And uh, get an order out for you, you know, you guys, you know, try the different meals for you. Guys. Absolutely. Uh, well, I appreciate, you know, Jason coming out here, you know, kind of just 
explain to him his, his, his business, his, his adventure, and, and how he's helped out so many people down here with the, with the meal prepping. You know, so give him a follow, you know, try his meals out, you know, before you try these other meals out. And I guarantee you're going to see the difference, you know. So please subscribe to our, our, our channel, Texas Bodybuilding News, for coaching. Check my website out, uh, coachjasonmartinez.com. Uh, my team IG is Team Jack. You know, uh, make sure you guys keep keep at it. You know, uh, hit that list wrap in, and let's get going, man. See you next time. Peace.